Oh, um, it's been ages since I've done any uh, YouTube videos, uh, so I thought I'd just do a quick one so you can have a little look at the Commodore C64 emulator um, running on the uh, OUYA, because the C64 is mint. So I've downloaded the uh, emulator, it's a free emulator, um, there's quite a few in the store, I'll just quickly show you those actually. Uh, just go down to the genres, I think they're under retro, as well as some retro games. So yeah, we've got sort of NES, SNES, GBA, Mega Drive, uh, N64, Neo Geo, MSX, there's quite a few here, uh, Game Boy Color, there's the C64 one. Uh, the Atari 2600, that's a great emulator. And most of these are the .emu stuff by, um, is it Robert Broglia? Um, absolutely brilliant emulators. I use quite a lot of those on my um, iPad and iPhone and various other bits and pieces. Um, really basic front end, but um, really you know feature rich. And all the sort of front ends follow the same style. So once you get used to one, you can pretty much fly quite a few of them. Um, most of these emulators are actually free. Just download them with a single click on the um, the controller, and off you go. It installs it, and then it appears in your play menu. Um, a couple of them you have to pay for. They're not overly expensive. Just a couple of dollars or something like that. I think that one of these um, PlayStation one. Um, I think you've got to pay for that. Um, I mean, there are other emulators out there, you know, for Android, and some of these those actually work on the UI. You just have to sideload them in, so you can use like a file menu, a browser, or you can use Dropbox uh, to do some of them. Um, pretty simple stuff, really. So we'll go back to the uh, main menu, and here's some of the emulators I've got installed, and some of the games as well. Cannibal is absolutely brilliant in. Um, 1080. I don't usually have my um, OUYA on this TV, this is just a little portable TV, um, but in the living room on the big TV, Cannibal just looks absolutely brilliant. Um, Shane the Pinball Arcade wasn't as good as I would hoped it was, I'm a massive fan of that, but the it's just really, really laggy, it's horrible. Um, hopefully they, they might, they might um, sort of do a, an OUYA version of that, because that would be brilliant, but it's just too laggy, so I'll stick with my iPad for that. Uh, okay, so C64 emulator, to launch that. Um, like I say, there's uh, there's quite a lot of options here, um, but it's straightforward enough. And if you just want to go straight in and load some games, you can do. There's various options for sort of video and overlay effects, so you can, for example, add scan lines or um, emulate a, a CRT uh, monitor and stuff like that. Um, I don't generally use those unless it's MAME. I'll have scan lines, but um, certainly on the C64, I like you know uh, crisp, clean, big, chunky pixels. Um, audio, you've got various bits and bobs. You've also got um, two SID emulators, or I guess SID en engines as it's listed here. Somebody was asking me about this, if these two were included, which they are. Um, I think one runs a little bit faster than the other, um, but one gives you a better sort of quality. Personally, I can't actually tell the difference. And actually, on my um, my original Commodore 64s, I've got a couple with different SID chips, and I, I I just can't tell the difference to be perfectly honest. But that's just me. Maybe you will. Um, input options, so you can remap the um, the defaults if you want. To be honest, they they're pretty fine on the uh, the controller, um, but and it only uses a couple of buttons, and there's quite a few on here, so you can remap other functions if that's what you want to do. Um, again, other stuff, you know, <laughs> you do whatever you want with. But like I say, I like these uh, I like these front ends because like I say, there's a lot of features there so you can have a play around with and, and set it up the way you want. Or if you just want to go load a game, boom, you're off. So let's um let's load a game. So I've got um, a load of folders set up on my USB stick. Um, that's plugged into the UIA. It's very dark. I'm going to see if I can show you this. So there's my UIA sat on my 3DO. Uh, in there, I've got, I don't know if you can see, uh, a USB stick. I think it's 32 gig, I think. Not a very big one. And um, yeah, I've set up a load of folders um, on here. Let's see if we can. Let's make that a little bit clearer. I'll do that in a second when I'm the game. Um, so yeah, I've got 
a load of folders with my ROM images on and stuff like that. So we're going to the C64, and I've just got a simple A to Z. So what should we try? Quite a few stuff in here. Um, what should we play? Uh, oh, Bruce Lee. Okay, let's launch that. There's actually a turbo loading button on here. Just press that, and it actually speeds up the load. I don't know if you can see that. So that's normal speed and then fast. So it's kind of handy for, uh, you know, well, if you can't be bothered to wait, actually, just whack the button and it, the game pretty loads almost instantly. Um, let's see if I can. I'm not actually going to do it this time. Really need to get a better video camera or something like that because I'm just using my iPhone at the minute. Okay, so now we need to press the run stop key. So what's handy here is if you press this button, it brings up a C64 virtual keyboard. I don't think you can sort of actually see it. It's just there, flick it on and off. And you want the, uh, the run stop key, so to get that, you can use the little trackpad that should bring up a mouse pointer. Um, again, this trackpad gets a lot of uh, stick, and it's actually not that bad. I mean, I mean it's not like a... You know the laptop ones are really precise and everything, but when you just want to select something, uh, almost like moving a mouse instead of actually using analog controls, it's it's a lot better. Not actually that bad. So I'll click run stop, turbo load it. There's Bruce Lee. Get rid of the keyboard for a second. This top button here as well swaps the um, emulated joystick port so you've got sort of joystick port 1, joystick port 2, you know on the C64 you know some games that only like port 1, some games like port 2 and it's really annoying so you can just flick that and it will flick between the two um, no, so where's the keyboard again no to that, no to that Okay, and we need to press F7 to begin. So the F keys, uh, if you hit on, press that there. Should have access to F7. So at the minute I can't move, so I'll swap the joystick over. There you go. Let me see if I can make this screen a little bit clearer. Anyway, okay, so let's go back to the main menu, just press the center button again, and you can load another game. Um, I think I was, uh, I mentioned this on my uh, blog the, the other day, um, I found out that um, it actually supports cartridge images as well, you know, uh, CRT images, so I'm going to load one of those in, so I've got a couple here, um, various compilations, let's just... I usually use these on my um, Easy Flash cartridge on the Commodore 64. So these are sort of like um, Commodore 64 cartridge images that have been sort of compressed onto um, one cartridge, like I say. But loaded up, you just get a nice little menu. Um, oh, Robotron. I'll have to have a go on that later on. What else have I got? Okay. Oh yeah, I know. I remember what this is. Um, I think I did a video on this before when I was actually on the, the um, Commodore 64. This is a uh, collection of epic sports games, all the events from various different ones. Remember um, California games and world games and all that kind of stuff? So let's just um, show you one of those. What, what should we have? Speed skating? Is that, oh no, that sounds a barrel jump. Speed up that load in. How many barrels should we have? Let's go for 10. This should be interesting. <laughs> Am I going to do it? No. Oh. 
Only just. <laughs>